If you're looking to sell or buy cheap CSGO skins, check out bitskins.com. Hello, welcome to Atten Games. Today we're going to be breaking down a round between ninjas in pyjamas and luminosity on cobblestone. This one is a set CT side defense where Nip utilized free Molotov towards B long, covering it in almost every position. The fire eventually spreads to Taco, dropping him down to 36 HP before he finds the one safe position. Perhaps this turned out to be a misread on Fret's part as luminosity weren't executing or rushing on B site this round, so the Molotovs looked like a big waste of utility very early on. Getting Getting the timing right, however, could be very effective and it's definitely worth having this trick up your sleeve when you know your opponent is abusing the B site. Nip do end up winning the round but we'll just be focusing on the Molotov control at long as that is what I want to highlight for you guys. So starting with Exist, he throws a smoke towards B long to try and prevent Luminosity from pushing past the point where the Molotovs will land. He also throws his nade to stop Luminosity from pushing up and catching everyone from Nip with a Molotov in hand. He actually gets boosted up to the tree to throw his Molotov off, which lands at the front of Long. Pi throws a flash towards Long to prevent any rushes and then sets up for his Molotov that lands at the back of B Long. He then draws back to his default position at Statue, and I know I said I wouldn't show the rest of the path, but I spotted a really cool method of re-smoking long when you were playing the AWP. Pyfe banks it off the wall for a perfect long smoke. Gerai goes through drop and also flashes towards B long. He then sets up for the final Molotov that lands in the middle of long. Because everyone else on B is setting up for their Molotovs, Freiburg is left with having to hold drop alone at the start of the round. He instantly smokes and nades it to prevent any fast plays. Once everyone is ready with their Molotov, he goes to throw one flash towards Long, which aims to leave Luminosity blind running through fire. From Taku's perspective, he just finished spamming the smoke and wasn't really facing anything. He isn't affected by Freiburg's flash, but still manages to take damage with the fire spreading to the very back. He moves out of the way in time but drops down to 36 health. You'll notice that after the Molotov execution is over, both Cold Zera and Taka use their Molotovs in order to try and regain control of Long and flush out anyone who might have moved towards Cubby. Cold Zera was actually setting up a smoke at the very back of Long when the Molotovs came in, so he wasn't really in danger of losing his life. The flash from Freiburg also didn't have any effect on him at all. I do think this setup could be improved by simply throwing the Molotov at the back a second before the others. This will give the terror side a chance to move forward to avoid it and it's at that point when the other two Molotovs rain down along with a flash for a very tasty blind barbecue. Pyfe is the one throwing the Molotov for the back of Long so it would make sense for him to throw a flash straight after. This would free up Freiburg and allow him to focus 100% on drop and also result in a far better flash given the position Pyfe is already in. A simple flash over the wall like this one would do the job and it blinds most of the essential areas. This includes the spot where Taco sat at the back before the fire spread to him and this is pretty useful as if he had been blind he may well have misstepped into the fire. Of course you could also do a simple flash off the box to land inside the smoke. This is very effective for anyone up super close but it won't blind the spot at the very back which I do think is essential. I would love to hear some discussion regarding this though so please do leave your thoughts on how these adjustments would work out. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.